Welcome senior citizens. It's good to have you back with Seniors in Action. Today we're talking about uh, uh, brain games and uh, using brain games to stay mentally active. So uh, I'm your host, Michael Scott. It's good to be with you again. Uh, on this channel we talk about um, videos that are of interest uh, to senior citizens. And uh, so I hope you'll uh, subscribe and uh, comment and uh, you know let me know what uh, uh, what videos you would like to uh, see, and uh, if you're active, uh, send pictures of yourself being a, being active. Uh, next slide, we'll go through the um, uh, affiliate program. We do get commissions if you uh, check the button in the description of this video or any other video on this channel, and go to a, a particular link or a vendor like um, Amazon, for example. If you go to Amazon and uh, buy something from Amazon, um, we uh, will generally get a commission. So uh, we need to disclose that to you. So let's go ahead and uh, go get into the, uh, the actual uh, meat of the program now. So which, actives, which activities are helpful? Which brain games are actually helpful? And some of these aren't really games. I mean, if you look at writing, it's not really a, a game to speak of or reading uh, fiction to expand your memory. It's not really a game, but uh, Sudoku certainly is. Uh, chess, uh, jigsaw puzzles, crossword puzzles, you can look at all these. Playing solitaire. My mother used to play solitaire quite a bit on her computer and that uh, was very helpful to her, I think. Uh, playing Scrabble is fun. Uh, words with friends you can do with, uh, with your friends. So, long list of uh, games here, and these aren't the only ones. I mean, there's a lot of other games. A lot of games online from Lumosity and uh, other vendors that uh, are good as well. So um, let's look at some of the uh, benefits that you uh, get out of playing some of these games. And uh, this is from an article uh, by Isabella Matthews. It was updated in 2020, and she's talking about a greater sense of independence uh, from brain games, uh, faster thinking skills, uh, enhanced reaction times, um, greater sense of purpose, hand-eye coordination, uh, depending on what type of uh, activity you're in. If you're in artistic painting, for example, it's going to improve your motor skills and uh, uh, help you um, draw better, help you paint better. So uh, these are a bunch of them. And so I urge you to get involved in these brain games uh, just to keep yourself mentally active. And uh, let's look at a statement by um, from Harvard Medical School. And this basically says that if, uh, you know, if you play these brain games, it's, uh, there's been no research that shows that it will help uh, against uh, Alzheimer's or dementia, but it does help with overall, overall brain health. And uh, she goes on to say in this article, and I don't, uh, I don't have this in the video, but um, uh, if you keep yourself both physically and mentally active, well, then that does help against uh, dementia. So you've got to keep your heart in good shape. And, uh, and that's what we're talking about on uh, Seniors in Action channel, uh, is trying to uh, inspire uh, senior citizens to be active and to um, uh, get out there and do things and uh, meet people and socialize. So let's look at the offer we had. You saw that on the first one. Uh, if you uh, would like to take a class from our new school, www.thevideocpa.com, uh, go out to that site. The classes are free right now. They're in a beta state. And uh, go ahead and take a class. And that uh, taking classes from a college or uh, from a school, online school like this, uh, will help you stay mentally active as well. So. Uh, I hope you do that, and if you do it, uh, give me some comments on it, because uh, they are in a beta state, and uh, I can still improve those classes on uh, whatever comments you make. Thank you very much, and hit that subscribe button.